All right, this video is going to show you how to download the general education assessment quizzes as a separate quiz that you can launch and, and give to your students. Um, so this will just download an entire quiz, separate quiz, with the quiz questions already embedded in it. You can then edit it based on the number of points that you want. So log into a Canvas as you normally do. And then you're going to go to Commons here on the left hand side in the blue bar. And here you can uh, use uh, the search terms that we give you Nevada Constitution Assessment Quiz, and it shows the author. Uh, or uh, it also works if you're already logged into uh, Canvas uh, and Canvas Commons, you can also use the web address that will take you to the assessment itself as well. Uh, I actually find that just using the key terms Nevada Constitution Assessment Quiz works uh, quite well. Uh, and then you're simply going to import this quiz to the, the classes that you want to implement them. So click that and so I'm going to put this into just for now into one of my online classes I'm going the the, the warning is um, I don't know how to change this is that it becomes viewable to students instantaneously so what I do is when I import this into the course right I am going to go into that course and um, make it uncheck it to make sure that it's not currently visible until I want to release it. So I go to uh, that course, go to my dashboard, uh, it says you have successfully started uh, the import. Uh, let's see, is there anything? I think I think it, it's, it's pretty small, so it, it's pretty instantaneous. So I'm going to go to the course where I went, and I'm going to go to quizzes, and it will be, it'll be somewhere, let's see. Uh, and it'll have that name, Nevada Constitution Quiz, and you can see that it's already available. So just boom, I wanna, I wanna edit it, uh, or I wanna take a look at it before I implement this. You can now edit it. Uh, it says it's currently unpublished. Um, if there's a particular, uh, don't change the question wording because we're gonna compare this, but if there's a question that you really despise, um, you you can delete it again this is not an assessment of any individual student or professor we're gonna aggregate this and so if a student doesn't know this question that's perfectly fine uh, we we want to know that right so leaving all the questions as is I think it makes sense one thing that I do is I change the point uh, the point system uh, so I might go to the questions and I might change these points so that they're worth maybe half a point you can do that right or or what have you you can also go in and weight it in a different way in quizzes um, you probably already know how to do that I'm not going to show you how to do that you can change the point value uh, if you want to do that so or um, I, I this is probably not something you want to do but just not to mess up my point scale, I actually make these worth all zero and I go in and I manually change the grades. You probably don't want to do that. Um, uh, I just do that so that my thousand points doesn't, um, doesn't get messed up. And then I just go um, and add them at the end of the semester to see if these points move a student to uh, to a different grade. So lots of different ways to change the point scale. You can do that uh, depending on your needs because I might have a thousand points, but maybe you have a hundred points. So fifteen points would be huge, right? So you know how you handle weighting this is totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to offer it as extra credit. Uh, you could add it as an assignment or as Fred said he has a test bank that he can share with you you can add it to your final exam uh, whatever you want to do so here you have it uh, set up in a certain way 
uh, and you save those changes that you wanted if you wanted to get rid of one of the questions. Preferably not because again, this is not a reflection on uh, on you if the students don't get a particular question right or not. It's probably a reflection on the questions themselves, right? So we kind of need to know uh, if there's a problem with the assessment so we can modify it next year. So if you could leave these as is, I think it would be fantastic. I think this is the simplest way, but I think Fred found that just adding his to a final exam uh, was going to be easier for him. So to contact Fred if you need the test bank questions. These are just built in automatically. Uh, so I'm going to save that. Um, and then of course you can then publish it if you wanted to and make it available. Uh, as you know with any quiz you can set the, the time. Uh, we set it to 40 minutes. These are 15 questions. Uh, I would say if we're all consistent that would make sense. Uh, but you could of course change uh, you know when this is going to be available. November 30th uh, is going to be due or let's say due November 29th and available not until November 30th, right? And so I'm sure you guys know uh, how, to, how to do this stuff here. Uh, so we can save that. And then you can do the exact same thing uh, with the other uh, uh, Canvas sh uh, shells. Uh, here the other key term is US Constitution Assessment. We can type that in there and you're going to see Kenneth Fernandez and you can go and import and download that to the same class or to a different class or a different section uh, what have you um, and of course with Canvas if you have two or three sections merge into one Canvas shell you can assign uh, to different sections different items right different opportunities um, so uh, so yeah, so here that that's basically how how you're going to download this quiz, um, these three different quizzes. You can just choose two if you want. If you want to use all three, that's fantastic as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I have three sections. I'm gonna use one for each section of American politics. Um, you're not gonna. You're, uh, uh, it, you only assign the quiz that's associated with these GE assessments. So PolySci 101 is associated with all of these assessment tools. Nevada, U.S. Constitution, and the Social Sciences. Um, and if you have questions, you can always email me or give me a call and i help you walk you through this stuff. The nice thing about downloading this quiz is that if um, once you implement it, you can just go to a quiz right and you can go to quiz statistics and you can go to item analysis and it generates an Excel file uh, a C CSV file and you can just email this to us and it provides all the results right and so for those 15 questions, we have all, all of the analysis of how many people got this right, how many people got it wrong, all that stuff. And then you just email this to Fred um, and uh, then we just compile it. And we're going to compile it all together. We're not going to identify faculty. We're not uh, identifying students. It's just this is just all aggregated so that we have something to report and analyze uh, uh, by February, right? So I think that's all I need to say uh, in this video. Um, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's about it. Um, and again, if, if you find any problems or typos or anything, uh, just let me know. All right, uh, see you soon.